Hi, welcome to Salesforce Techbook. In this session, we are going to discuss about how to add members to our experience cloud site, how to create customer user and how that customer user can log in into our site. To do it practically, go to our R and click find enter digital experiences. Click on all sites. Click on builder next to our site. In the previous session, we had discussed about how to create a simple site by using experience cloud. Now we will see how to add members to our site. To add members, click on this experiences menu. Click on administration. Click on members. Here we can add users with selected profiles as members of our site. So first we have to create a profile and add that profile here in the selected profiles. And with this profile, we have to create the customer user. So that customer user will become the member of our site. Now we will create the profile. To create the profile, go to Salesforce setup. We can create profiles in two ways. We can clone the standard profile to create the custom profile. Or we can use the standard external profiles. Now let's see how to create a custom profile by cloning the standard profile. In quick find enter profiles, select profiles. Now we will clone one standard profile. Here in our case we are creating the customer user. So clone the standard customer community user profile. Click on clone. Give the profile name. Customer user. And click on save. Now the profile is created. We will add this profile in the administration workspace. Go to administration. And refresh this page. In search, select customers and select customer user profile and click on add. Click on save. Now the profile is added to the selected profile. With this profile, we have to create the customer user. But when the user is created, he will receive the welcome email. To receive that email, we have to enable welcome email option. To enable that option, go to emails. And enable this send welcome email option. When we enable this option, whenever a new member is added, he will receive the welcome email. This is the welcome email template. If we want to customize it, we can customize it from the Classic email templates from Salesforce setup. Now we will see how to use standard external profiles. Generally users with standard external profiles cannot log in into our experience cloud sites. If we still want to use standard external profiles, we have to enable one permission. To enable that permission, go to Salesforce setup. In quick find enter digital experiences, click on settings, under role and user settings we have to enable this checkbox, allow using standard external profiles for self registration, user creation and login, click on ok. Once we enable this permission, we can add action, uh, standard external profiles directly in the members in administration workspace. But enabling this permission is not a Salesforce best practice. As a best practice, we have to clone the standard external profiles. Now we will see how to create external users. External users can be created in two ways. 
system admin can create external user or external user can self register if we enable self registration option now we will see how system admin will create the external user that is in our case external user is the customer user to enable the customer user system admin has account and contact and from that contact he enables the customer user but before creating the customer user we have to set the system admin role higher than the customer user otherwise he is not able to create the customer user to set the admin role go to setup in quick find enter users select users click on edit next to system admin set the role here select ceo click on save now he will create the customer user to create the customer user click on app launcher search for accounts select accounts create one account click on new give the account name customer account click on save now create the related contact click on new give the mandatory fields give the email Click on save. Now the contact is created. Click on this contact. Now we will enable this contact as the customer user. To enable this as customer user, click on this drop down. Here, enable customer user action is not available. We will add this action in page layouts. To go to page layouts, click on this gear icon. Click on edit object. click on page layouts click on contact layout click on mobile and lightning actions drag and drop enable customer user disable customer user login into experience as user click on save now go to contacts page and refresh this page click on this drop down click on enable customer user we can edit the customer email here under user licenses when we are creating the customer user we have selected customer community so select that license customer community 
under profile select customer user this is the custom profile we have created click on save now the member is created now we will check whether he will receive the welcome email or not this is the welcome email in this email he will get the site url and the username open this url in incognito for the first time he has to change the password from the next time onwards he has to log in to the site by using username and password change the password click on change password this is how the customer user can log in into our site he can view all the pages home page contact us about us and cases now i will log log out from this page and log in again by using username and password copy this username enter the password which we have changed it just now click on login from the next time onwards customer user can log in into the site like this now if the system admin want to log in into the experience cloud site as an external user how he how he will log in we will see go to salesforce setup click on app launcher search for accounts open this account click on this contact click on this drop down and click on login into experience as user this is how the system admin can login into our experience cloud site as an external user to view how the external user can view our site in this session we had discussed about how system admin can create the customer user and how that customer user can log in into our site and how the system admin can log in into our site as the external user in the next session we will discuss about how external user can self register into our site these are the references please go through those references please subscribe to salesforce textbook thank you